for years, the topic of illegal mining has been dominating national discourse. Despite numerous government interventions to curb the menace, the situation appears to have gotten worse. Illegal miners seem to have been emboldened as the act have been going on in various mining communities across the country with impunity. Several farmlands, water bodies and even according to the Forestry Commission, about 34 forest reserves are being destroyed due to such activities. The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research is thus worried about the development. The Director General for Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, Professor Paul Bosu, wants policymakers to find urgent way of controlling the situation. You would agree with me that this uh, uh, problem of illegal mining uh, has been discussed over and over and over and over again. Uh, I'm sure even um, the lay person, the average person on the street, uh, you don't, you know, you don't need to be a specialist in forestry or land management to know that uh, the uh, the impact of illegal mining on our environment is very, very negative and bad. In my view, there's only one solution. We have to stop it. You know, we have to stop it. Or if we, if we, maybe we may not be able to stop it completely because of its economic benefits and other benefits. But then we have to have measures that are such that we would really bring it under uh, considerable uh, level of control. You know, and if we don't do that, and we let uh, illegal miners run amok, as it's currently the case, then we definitely know, uh, we see the effects already. Professor Paul Bosu is of the view that the country will have to import more water since existing water bodies in the country that serve as source of water to the population are being destroyed with impunity. Uh, the water systems that are being destroyed, polluted big time. Uh, I, I think you all already know that recently some of our uh, water treatment plants uh, have to shut down or about to shut down. So that's also a major. And then if it continues at the rate at which we are going, then we will then degrade or destroy the land on which we grow crops. So then we might start, and I, I hear that uh, to some extent we are even importing water. I don't know whether it's true. Yes. Uh -huh. And then we'll move from importing water. We already import some kinds of food. We import considerable uh, ton, tons of rice and all that. But then if it gets worse, where we have to import most of our food because of the degradation of the land, then you don't need any expert, you know, to tell you that it's a it, it's a major problem. For Stinis, Fatih, I mean Ibrahim, Kumasi.